Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 28 and 29. Let the prophet who has a dream recount the dream, but let the one who has my word speak it faithfully. For what has straw to do with grain, declares the Lord. Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks a rock in pieces? You know how difficult it is to talk to a person when you have the feeling they aren't listening? The prophet Jeremiah knew what that was like. Nobody listened to him. But it wasn't just Jeremiah the people were ignoring. It was the Lord. You see, the Lord had revealed the future history of Judah to this man. And it was bad news. His country would be pillaged and destroyed and the people carried away into slavery. Jeremiah's job was to tell this bad news to the people of his country. He had to let them know that the reason these bad things were coming was because they had rebelled against the Lord. He had to lead them to a knowledge of their sin so they could repent and be forgiven by the Lord. But nobody wanted to hear it. And meanwhile, there were false prophets everywhere and they were treated like rock stars because they told people what the people wanted to hear. In an earlier verse of this chapter, the Lord says, these lying prophets keep saying to those who despise me, the Lord says you will have peace. And to all who follow the stubbornness of their hearts, they say, no harm will come to you. These false prophets, they didn't know God. They didn't know his word. As long as this world exists, there will always be conflict between those who follow God's word and those who don't. Our Savior is rightly called the Prince of Peace. But he did not come to put us at peace with sin or at peace with evil. If it's sin, if it's evil you're talking about, then you need to know that our Savior came into this world looking for a fight. We who follow Jesus need to fight against sin too by holding up the truth of God's word. But it's not just the sin out there we need to fight. It's the sin in here. In our sinful nature, yours and mine, we sound a lot like those false prophets of Jeremiah's day who said, don't worry about it. God doesn't care about your sins that much. Just relax, take it easy. In our sinful nature, we say, go ahead and do what you want. No harm will come to you. Thank the Lord for sending his son, our savior, to conquer sin once and for all. With his death, he crushed your sin and mine and the grip it had on us and the punishment that it brought with it. He obliterated all of that. He destroyed it on his cross where he paid in blood. And still today, God crushes and destroys sin with his word. Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks a rock in pieces? God's word is not like the hollow words of human beings. It's powerful. A teaspoonful of it has all the strength that a sledgehammer has against rock. Think of the power God's word has to convict you. The times you have sinned and then heard the word of God from parents or from a pulpit, and you found yourself ready to admit sins you'd never wanted to face before. God's word is a rock that crushes. And God's word has that same power to free you from the chains of your guilt. It breaks those chains too. And like fire, it not only consumes, it purifies. And like fire, it spreads quickly. Through his word, the Holy Spirit works God's forgiveness into our hearts. The forgiveness Jesus won for us. The forgiveness that covers all the times we've forgotten or have ignored the power of God's word. And that forgiveness spreads through us to every area of life. It finds its way into our speech and our thinking and our attitude. God's word is like a fire. There are times when we feel like we are invincible, like nothing can bring us down. And at times like that, we need to be alert to our dangerous overconfidence. We need to see the danger of the enemies to our faith and use God's word in the fight against them. And then there are times when it looks like nothing can help us. Even God's word may seem weak to us. It's just a book sitting on my shelf, but God tells us that his word is a hammer that breaks rocks to pieces. It's a fire that burns. So fight sin with a real weapon. Don't try to go barehanded. Use God's word. And in him, you can't lose.
See you next time.